Hey, everybody. Uh, well, we are Marriage with Third Ring, Stronger Together Than Apart. Um, our whole mission um, for this is actually just to keep Christ central within our marriage and to help us actually grow as couples. So we're trying to help other people do the same. So me and Charles started this recently because we've been married 15 years. Uh, we just had a 15 year anniversary on August 17th. Um, we have four children and they're four boys. They're in sports. A lot of things in school, we both have full-time jobs. So it's so easy to just get caught up in life that you lose sight of each other. I mean, we were 21 when we got married. So we grew up together. So you realize you grow different. Your love languages change. You just, a lot of things change. And then you lose sight of, you like, where did the time go? So we started this thing just to take time out for each other. Um, so many times are like with the children and stuff, you're tired and you have things going on and you just don't really think that's important. I mean, hey, we loved each other, so we got married, right? But no, sometimes the things you did to get that person, you need to still do, you know, not taking that person for granted. Yeah. So we started a thing that we would put on our schedule every other week. We would both take turns and be in charge of the date night. Um, we've had three so far, so we've been doing it for like a month, um, because of course, you know, you still got to have time with the family and stuff like that and the children, but every other week, we didn't want it to be pricey or be a strain on us, but we actually scheduled it like it was a event, like you had, you had to be there, so you can't get tired when you put it on your schedule, even if you is tired, and the build up of that anticipation, you know, because, hey, I know he got something planned, this is his week. And, you know, I'm just happy about seeing what's going on. You you get dressed up, you get nice. So it's good to be spontaneous, but let's keep it real. We are not mm -hmm. always spontaneous because we're tired and life is going on. But, hey, it's still going to be about spontaneous. But what we did was every other week you had to have a plan. Um, so we're going to recap some of our date nights that we've had so far. Um, then we're going to go into just what are some of our struggles that we have with sometimes with why is it hard for us to go on some date nights? So the first one I planned. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the first one it was I did it. I took the first one and I found it on group well, Hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Bob had a question about love languages. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna address love what love languages is um very shortly, Bubba. Okay. So don't that mean you have to stay tuned. Don't log out on us. Uh, <laughs> and if any of your friends are wondering about it, tell them to tune in to us. Um, so the first date night I planned, um, and I found it on Groupon. You will hear me say Groupon a lot because I am a budgeter. Hey, we got four kids. And I definitely am not. <laughs> and, you, you, and hey, you do. You find out what your strengths and your weaknesses are. So I found this pop-up date night. So I was like, okay, this seems interesting. Um, we went to this place. Um, it was supposed to be like an erogenous coach. She was okay. <laughs> and then so they gave us a erogenous coach. They gave us a meal. So it was a chef that prepared a meal. And a lady came to teach us how to give massages to our spouses. Um, so it was it was fun. Um, and I mean, we got all of that in one evening. And I think I paid about like 60 bucks for it. And it wasn't so, bad enough. Yeah, it wasn't bad at all. I mean, now the erogenous coach, I mean, she was a therapist, so she was a little dry, but it was just fun. You got to learn some <laughs> of the, uh, I mean, she talked about how our brains work with different things and stuff like that. But yeah, but then, I mean, you know, you get the good and the bad, the massages. Charles enjoyed that. He even let the lady who was doing the massage, she became one of her models, of course, so she can give him the massage. But, you know, it taught us how to, you know, sit our spouses in a chair and massage them, you know, in those tight areas and save money. Yeah. Uh, especially when you know if you have hands fellas i mean you can give your wife a, a massage you don't have to go out and spend i mean it's nice to be able to do that but um you can use your own hands and rub your wife down it don't have to lead to anything sexual um but i mean 
If it does, it does. And, no, and ladies, they said in order to avoid all that, do deep tissue. You know, because if you just tap them lightly, they might get a little aroused. So you know, do deep tissue. Then they'll really be like, oh, that that that's the spot right that's there. The spot, so yeah, yeah, therefore you can get through your massage and get yours too. <laughs> um, so that was a fun evening. Um, a couple weeks later, and then Charles knew he was going to Arizona for work. So he actually planned his a little bit earlier so because he knew that was his responsibility. And I would be upset if he didn't hold his end of the bargain at. So I'm the kind of guy, like, if it's not, like, in front of my face, I'm going to forget about it. So by actually putting it on our calendar, it helped me to be able to plan for things in the future. So before, you know, it's easy just to get caught up with work and caught up with, you know, kids going to sports and different things like that. So this helps me actually make sure, making sure that I – um, I keep a check and balance on myself to make sure that I'm actually actively involved in marriage. So for my um, date night, we actually went to go see Sinbad, and he was hilarious. He was. Um, <laughs> I wasn't expecting it, but this man had me on the floor crying. Um, so we went to that. What did we go? I so, yeah, we went to, like, a club afterwards. Um, yes, he, old people. <laughs> <laughs> so when we walked up, the boss was like, "Oh, I can already tell you guys won't be here long," and we weren't. He said but, you're too sophisticated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were looking all nice, and then once the ratchet people start coming in, we just kind of left. At that point. <laughs> but we had a. It was a fun date night. We got got to chill. Um, like it was weird. We were sitting there just kind of vibing, just kind of feeling each other talking, and people were actually asking us about marriage and. They started talking to her about, we in a club, like just relaxing, just vibing off each other. And people just started asking us. So I don't know. Not Maybe. called the snitching on us. Yeah, saved people can have fun too. Save people. <laughs> you, tell them what's in the club. you can be saved. You can be saved. You can have clean fun and just vibe off of your apartment. You don't have to be messing around with any other kind of foolishness. But we have fun that night. Um, so, and then the next thing we did was... Oh, yeah, it was my... Oh, yeah, and then Donovan, I did see what you said usually, and that's why I asked the question, how can, if we're giving a massage, how can we get our whole massage to do? Because that's <laughs> yeah. why. So, yes, it usually does. But, <laughs> and then, um, so, mine is the next one, and, y'all, this is the bomb. Let me tell y'all, Groupon, okay? It's not hard to use. Message me later if you need to just download the app to your location. We did, um, and this is just recently, I had a ballroom dance class. So for yep. an hour, we learned Kazamba, okay? So it was nice. You got to little move your hips and stuff. And then so we learned Kazamba. And it was nice. You got to rotate with different partners. It was interesting to see how, yeah, some people ain't got no rhythm. I thought I was bad. <laughs> <laughs> but we had, but it was fun. And then after that, we uh, went to a Thai food restaurant, was able to get an entree, two entrees, an appetizer, y'all. I paid forty dollars for the whole night. Okay, yeah. the I, class I like give it to her. <laughs> and it was nice. The class was skills. like seventeen, and and that was together. That was for the couple, and then also the um, and then the food was like twenty three. Um, but the thing is, it's like I like it because when you look on Groupon, sometimes you get to try different things. So much, and, and trust me, we love to chill with the movie sometimes. Yeah. Going to a movie, mm -hmm. relaxing. You know, we got the Eat In movie um, here in Charlotte, Studio Movie Grill. I know they used to have the one in Columbus at the Arena District. But we like that. But sometimes you just want to, you know, we're getting older. We have the children. You know, we want to just do something fun. You know, so it's always fun to learn different things. So that was our three date nights and I'm telling y'all it's fun so Charles has the next one yeah. so we'll see what he do now what we want to do is once a quarter do something nice if it's nothing but him calling me like I got a hotel room yes we have a house but you know it's nice because just think back when y'all was dating like that little fun stuff he's like oh he really loved me you know you get the little butterflies and stuff Guys, what am bad for? You know, just something. It does. You don't even have to go nowhere. Cause trust me, we have young kids too, and it's hard. Yes, luckily my sister is here in Charlotte because we moved away from everybody. But um, so sometimes you know I throw the kids with her. You know, pretty soon. You know, I do have a fourteen year old, but hey. So sometimes you could just watch a movie. You know, Charles loves when we went to the pop up date night. The chef gave us the recipe of the meal she made. Charles made that meal one night. So sometimes it's very important. I mean, you just have just spend a time with each other, okay? One thing we started doing, and I'm gonna let y'all talk, y'all. Y'all know I talk a lot, y'all know me. But yeah. 
We have, <laughs> and, see, and because I talk a lot, we have started, and we learned this on a cruise. Some of y'all know we just went on a cruise um, not too long ago, and it was nice. Um, but we learned having a 10 minute talk time. Each person Hold gets. On. <laughs> So everything I discussed during this ten minutes is going to stay in this ten minutes. <laughs> this one right here, nah, it, they turned it like twenty minutes. Talk. No, <laughs> technically, with the ten minute talk time, each one, like, hey, y'all know I have no problem for talking for two minutes at a time. Well, Charles, <laughs> yeah, I can ask him a long question, and it's, yep, oh, it was good. No, I mean that's what I'm feeling. <laughs> with the and... ten minute talk. I only get to talk for ten minutes for two minutes at, two a, time. Minutes at a time, and, and he to has to talk for two minutes at a time. So I mean, mm. but honestly, you learn stuff. He's telling me stuff even about work now that he probably wouldn't have told me throughout the day. But he has to find something to fill in that two minutes. I'm and just ladies, trying to talk for two minutes. <laughs> it's a good chance for us to even ask deep questions because then they have to answer our questions because it's a circle of truth. So whatever happens in that circle of truth. <laughs> Has to stay in that circle of truth, and it's not always easy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but okay. So let me go to love languages. I Ashley think, said you've been talking for. A I know. <laughs> <laughs> Charles is going to tell y'all what love languages is. Go ahead, Charles. I don't remember all of them. No, no, just what is the love language? Okay, so everybody has a way that they would like to be loved, or what to them actually feels like someone else is showing affection. So for me it was personal touch. It was like personal touch and what was the other one? I forget. It was like a I twist. Know it because I'm the wife, right? I, I look back at my email because one thing is it's a test online, you guys. If you can't find it, we'll send it to you. But um like Charles took the test and then he shared his results with me. So then I took the test and I shared my results with him. His number one was personal touch. I'm not a touchy feely type person. I'm not big on holding hands. Even at church, when you got to hug the visitors, I ain't big on that either. <laughs> but y'all pray for me, okay? But I'm not good on personal touch. But mine just like acts of kindness. Cause mm -hmm. hey, I feel like if I'm cooking you a meal, if I'm doing this, hey, I'm showing you I love you. But that, but to him, he might not. I mean, he appreciates that. But to him, that that's not showing he loves me. Yeah. But if he like touching on me and you know. I'm like, okay, look, I got things to do. But that's how he's showing me he loved me, which really, he just washed that dim dishes or sweep the floor. Hey, I, <laughs> I love you, you know? <laughs> you know, and so, you know, back when some of, some of them, you know, now, you know, you marry, you're like, oh, baby, I got you, you know, because, hey, so that was mine, showing acts of kindness, which him, I know. So now I try to touch on him more, you know, rub his little bald head and stuff like that. You know, I try to, um, and I think it was like affection. So as you see, he loves to post his selfies on Facebook. Well, I've been trying to post selfies of him more and stuff Maybe like that. <laughs> so I've been trying to post some more just to let him know I appreciate it. He does a lot. I can remember, oh, this is cute. But, you know, I'm like, yeah, let's, you know, so... And that's what love languages is. It's how you feel love, um, Bubba. So, does that T have to end after ten? No, the talk doesn't have to end after ten minutes. But that, if you set parameters going into it, it makes it easier to to get out of it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially when when they're talking about something you really don't want to talk about, <laughs> and you just try to talk for ten minutes so you can go to sleep. So if you, I mean, with anything, if you set parameters that you both can agree on, then, then that makes it a lot easier for your exit strategy on the way out. But if you have a talkative one, um, <laughs> it makes it a lot harder. I mean, but you have to do what you have to do for the relationship. So. But as far as the love languages, though, um, so she was right. I was talking in my own love language. And, you know, I'm a touchy-feely kind of person, I suppose. But she likes more acts of service. I mean, I would do stuff, but, you know, if I'm, like, trying to hold your hand as we walk down the street or something, see, it didn't do much for her. I only kissed him for a half a second at our wedding. I don't even know how the photographer got the picture. Yo, he was like, <laughs> I don't even know how he got it. He was like Mr. Flash with the camera because it was, it was, like, crazy. People can't see that, but no. <laughs> we did, but the lady did say, we, as Americans, like, we did hear one thing, and this 
people, it's great to go to, if you see something going on in your area, some kind of seminar, some, go to it. A lot of times they're very inexpensive. You know, you don't mm -hmm. have to break the bank. Go to them because you learn different things. Uh, one of the ladies I was talking at something said that they did studies and here in America, we really don't touch. Like they said, sitting at a table for an hour, the couple may be touched one time if at all so i mean because you know but some people need that affection you know you need that touching you know some of us are like oh you know you know don't touch me you know but yes he loves touchy feely but he doesn't like my feet on me. so you learn different things about people she wrote the feet together <laughs> constantly makes my legs hot <laughs> but getting back to the date night subject um <laughs> So yeah, so we wanted to know what kind of things, because trust me, you guys, the thing is, I see a lot of older people, and you can tell these people who had good marriages, and now they have to take care of the other one because the other one might not be able to do anything anymore. So these are the foundations that we're setting right now to grow up. You see people hopping from one relationship to, the, uh, to another. Yeah, you won't see marriages lasting very long. Yeah, who's going to take care of you? And then you like that newness. And me and Charles talk all the time, how do you compete with that newness? Because you, you we in the days of side chicks and everything else. What, they side coming out with the Charlotte. side chicks of Charlotte? So girls are okay. They don't want the wifey responsibility. So women, it's okay sometimes to have the little... You know, throw on the heels for your man, you know, you know, dress up, you know, do your little thing that you think. Sometimes I got a wig that I call myself Sasha. So, hey, when he want a side chick, he can just call Sasha. And that's me. <laughs> but, you know, we just, we need to keep that love alive. So when we do get older, you know, and you can't do the sex. So you can't do what takes. So, you know what I'm saying? But you, it doesn't matter because you built that firm foundation and you don't mind, you love it, because trust me, if y'all sour now, and then you're stuck taking care of them, oh, trust me, it's rough. You're in trouble. <laughs> it's rough. I, I got some people, I'm like, I'm scared to leave them alone with each other, because, you know, it's a rough situation. So just do what you can now to build those strong foundations, because <laughs> when the kids come out the house, what you gonna do? You gonna sit there and look at each other like y'all crazy? Or now that you're 50, now you want a divorce. What you gonna do? So, you know, so build those strong things. Uh, Kelvin Park said, be nice and let my son in law know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, talk. Go ahead, talk, Charles. I mean, I mean, so it is what it is. I mean, so we're, that's what we're trying to do. Um, and we, we have a lot of things coming out in the future. Uh, no, no. Okay. All right. So we have some stuff coming out. We have to definitely stay tuned. But we do have some stuff coming out um, that for the city of Charlotte. And then we're going we're gonna to try to grow. The trucks with day night. Charles with, okay, so one of the things that you know I found uh, with date night is being spontaneous. I mean, she's good just finding something on on Groupon and just quickly, hey, that's what it is. I mean, but for me, planning just isn't really my thing. I'm just more of a kind of a go with the flow kind of guy. So I mean, that's one thing you can have an issue with um, finances, setting money aside for date nights. As, you, as she said, she can do date nights pretty inexpensively. Um, so what I started doing is just setting aside, um, like $150 out of my paycheck each week. That goes to like a little debit card. I don't know so, if you get all that extra money yet, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> she don't say that when I get the money. <laughs> but I set that money to the side, so all of our bills are paid out of one account, and then, hey, I got this other money that we can go do whatever we want to do. Uh, for date night, that camera's shaking. But we can go do whatever we want to do for date night, and it's not any sort of financial burden or financial stress on uh, on the household. Um, another thing you, you might have an issue with. Um, all right, Bubba, catch you later. Uh, <laughs> another thing you might have an issue with. Um, People want to know what about single guys, because his girls keep leaving me. Who? Pee Wee. Oh. <laughs> well, what about the the single? <laughs> Well, <laughs> maybe you shouldn't better. stay single that long, uh, Mr. Gore. <laughs> so we, you maybe find that right one to propose. And when God is in it, then it'll be good. So maybe just first first find your love for God. That's what you do. That's a good thing, too. First find your love for God. Because if you stay faithful to him, then them girls will stay faithful to you. So find your love for God. Get in your Bible, read your word, and stay faithful. Find you a good faith-based church. Find your love for him, 
find you a good girl. And we know everybody that go to church ain't good. We know that. You've been in church before too, you know. <laughs> but but yeah, but let's but first find you. Find you who you are and find who you are with him. So I saw this interesting post the other day and the guy was talking I, I don't know who it was, but he was saying that uh, the scripture says he defines a wife finds a good thing. It doesn't say he defines a woman and then she learns how to be a wife is a good thing. Um, so if you have to know who you're who you're looking for, essentially. So the the woman, whoever you want you to be your wife, she should already have wife qualities. So if they don't have those qualities and they're jumping ship before you ever get to the point to where you say, hey, let's take this farther, and that probably isn't the one for you. Ooh, that's knowledge though. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so um <laughs> but yeah, so honestly too, for the people that have young children, um child care ship could be an issue. I mean, yeah. you know, we have all these children. So like I said, sometimes we will tell these kids, hey, y'all got upstairs. We downstairs, you know, we just mm -hmm. might watch a movie. We just might have our talks on those nights. Those might be 20 minute talks, but I try to set the parameters ahead of time. Or, um, you know, just if you have a friend, say you have a friend that has children. Okay, say, hey, let us watch your children this weekend, and then maybe y'all can watch ours next weekend. So, it off. Yeah, you know, whether your kids are in sports, you know, you might meet some other parents on the team, you know, and I'm not a big person with, you know, interacting with a lot of people. I know yeah, it's hard to believe you guys. <laughs> but yeah, maybe you can find people that's on the team or something and just interact, you know, because this is very important. And I feel like anything you put stock in, anything that's worth having, is worth working at. So it's not going to be easy. We had a date night the other night. I was tired. I was mm. very tired, you know. But hey, I knew it was coming. You get up, you put makeup on. It's allergy season, so I ain't putting on too much. But you put on some makeup, you do something. Take a shot. Make yourself feel good and go out yeah. there and enjoy that night. You know, drink you some coffee, something. I mean, it's definitely <laughs> worth it. I mean, the more more effort, more energy you put into your relationship, into your marriage, the more you're going to get out of it. I mean, it's like any sort of a math equation. The more you have on one side, the more you're going to have on the other side. It's, it's, it's give and take, but if, as long as you're giving, I mean, your spouse should be giving as well. I mean, marriage isn't really 50-50. It's 100-100. If you have both people only giving 50%, then you're going to be having some problems. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so that's one of the things that we were just talking about uh, as far as date nights and, and how to uh, kind of keep, not necessarily um, just going out, but just keeping the relationship alive. So, I mean, do we have any other questions on on the and while Charles is reviewing the questions, you know, we will, every now and then we'll pop in and just share some things with you all, just different things. There's so much going on with marriages these days, y'all. We have to stay prayerful because yep. marriages aren't safe and the enemy does not want to see marriages together because it is true that you are stronger together than apart. Um, there are, um, we do have a blog out there. It's been out there for like a, a year now. Yeah, every we've now been here. writing for a while. <laughs> Getting that information out is hard, uh, but we have been writing um, a blog. I'll put that link for that here in a little bit. Yeah, and um, just so you know, it's Married to Third Ring um, at Blogspot. Yep, dot blogspot. Dot, yep, dot blogspot dot com. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah, so Married to Third Ring dot blogspot dot com. And I mean, sometimes, you guys, we just got to encourage ourselves. I go back and look at some of the stuff I wrote, whether it's about trust. Whether it's about whatever it's about, I look at some of the stuff I wrote and it, or Charles wrote. And, you know, it just reminds you to stay strong and stay faithful and do what you can. So just have fun in your marriage. Enjoy one another because guess what? Believe it or not, you have somebody good. You know what I'm saying? I always say everybody is crazy, but at least you know what crazy you got. I think I got that from my grandma. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so y'all take uh, y'all have a wonderful day. So did you find anything? Um, I think... Her, I'll leave. I don't know if that's Oh, Aisha said it's a good vlog. Thank you, Aisha. So, yes, yeah, so she's been, she's a good supporter for us, y'all. Yeah. She shares everything. Invite your friends to like Marriage to Third Ring. We are helpers one to another. So, we learn from each other. I mean, you learn just from, go you know what I'm saying? Everybody's going to go through. We all go through. Um, You know, hey, I just, well, you might, you, know, you see my glory, but you don't know my story. So, that's we it. all go through. But just stay prayerful and keep your faith in God. That's what they say. Don't have, don't, don't. 
don't have faith in the spouse. You know, have your faith in God. It is easy just <laughs> like if you're only basing your your faith in the relationship on one person, everybody's gonna let you down at some point. But so if you stay prayerful, stay in your word, and you're looking to God to guide you guide you guys together and to guide the marriage. That's what the third ring is about. Well, it's right here. That's what the third ring is about. Um, <laughs> we do have t-shirts too. Y'all can click those. That's on T-Spring. We do have some t-shirts. Um, these are just some ones that we have, I have made. Uh, we do have some other ones up there. Um, the link actually should be, if you click on our uh, the page, Shop Now, that actually should take you to uh, the page where you'll see the t-shirts. That well, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget us. If there's anything y'all want us to talk about, please, please feel free to inbox us, you know, me or Charles. Let us know, and we'll um, we'll talk about it. We have no problems with it. I guess y'all see, I really don't, but Charles will have to talk too. So thank you guys. Have a great I night. A words in <laughs> and have a good work week, okay? Stay prayerful. Love y'all. All right, thank you. Bye. God bless.